I took an Amtrak train from Penn Station to Albany, and then we drove the two hours into Lake Placid. Did you know Lake Placid has hosted the Winter Olympics? Not once, but twice. The Lake Placid Olympic Museum is the second largest Winter Olympic artifact collection in North America. I stayed at the Mirror Lake Inn, which is owned by the family of a local Olympian, Andrew Weibrecht. <laughs> One thing about me, I love a robe. The Mirror Lake Inn is one of my favorite hotels I have ever this stayed at. This is bigger than my apartment. It's a tub for me. See, I need one of these. I need one of these. Needless to say, my luxury suite put my NYC apartment to shame. This is where we're eating. We dined that night at the Stagecoach Inn, where you can also stay. This was formerly a post office in the 19th century. Now it's a romantic inn and restaurant. The next day, I visited Whiteface Mountain. How you it's doing? A perfect day. No place I'd rather be. People go all the way up there too. My favorite part of the mountain. Aaron's Run is like my favorite run. Good luck. Bye. I was amazed. I have never skied or snowboarded, so they put me on a pair of snowshoes instead. This is an antler. Incredible. People visit Lake Placid from all over the world, but not just because of their dedication to winter sports, but because there's something for everyone. From visiting shops on Main Street to renowned historical monuments, like the gravesite and former home of abolitionist John Brown. It's hard to believe that such an idyllic escape is just a train ride away.